What should you do if you think your swimming pool is leaking? The first step that you should take immediately if you suspect that your pool is leaking is you should perform a bucket test. This is going to allow you to compare the rate of water loss in the pool to that of just evaporation in and around your backyard. And this will help you to, de to determine is the pool losing the normal amount of water or is it losing too much water? At certain times of year and with certain environmental conditions like air temperature and pool water temperature, you can actually lose a substantial amount of water to evaporation over the course of a week. Especially if you don't have any rains refilling the pool, it can get very noticeable at certain times of year. At these times, some homeowners might notice, hey, I think the pool's losing more water than normal. It would be helpful to be able to determine that for sure and fortunately you can with a very simple, very easy test. The bucket test involves taking a large open vessel, like a, let's say a plastic bucket, and filling it up with swimming pool water and sitting it on, let's say, a step in your swimming pool or a ledge. And you want the water in the bucket and the water in the swimming pool to be exactly the same. It's very important. So leave the swimming pool for 24 hours and then inspect the water level in the pool versus the water level in the bucket. They should be exactly the same. If the pool loses more water in the bucket, then you have a leak in your swimming pool. If you've come this far and you've determined that you think you have a leak in your swimming pool, there is another step you can and should take. So we've just completed a bucket test. We've determined that the water in the pool went down faster than the water in the bucket over 24 hours. So here's what you do now. Refill the bucket, or re refill the pool so that the bucket and the pool are at exactly the same level again. And this time, turn off your swimming pool pump. Monitor the rate of water loss over 24 hours again. And now compare this. Did you lose more water the first time when your swimming pool system was running? Or did you lose more water the second time when your sw swimming pool system was off. These are all very important symptoms that is going to point you towards the, the likely cause of the leak in your swimming pool. Finding leaks in pools can be a little bit complicated sometimes. Sometimes it gives you intermittent uh, symptoms and it can be a little bit difficult to determine exactly where the leak is or sometimes you can even have multiple leaks which confuses things even further. But just being able to answer the very important question, is my pool losing water or not? Is the rate of water loss in the pool equal to that of evaporation? Or am I losing water faster than that? That's a very important question, and hopefully now you can answer that. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.